Stepney had been enjoying his stay on Sodor. While he was there, he mainly did Thomas' branch line duties, such as pulling Annie and Clarabelle. He enjoyed it for a while, but eventually he grew tired of doing the same job day in and day out, and wished for a change. One day that happened when Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. You've done well on the branch line for the time you've been here, he said. A very good job indeed. There's been some extra work to do on the line from the quarry to the docks, and they need another engine to help out. Would you be willing to go and lend a hand? Stebney didn't hesitate. Of course, sir, he said. Very good. You'll go there tomorrow. Stebney was excited to be at the quarry. When he got there, he saw Mavis. Stebney, what a pleasant surprise, she said. Last time you were here, you were helping me and Toby. Ah, uh, I remember, Stebney replied. I wish I could forget what happened on the way home, though. That was not a fun experience. Good thing it shouldn't be foggy while you're here, laughed Mavis. Just then, the quarry manager came up to the two engines. Good to see you've arrived, Stepney. These stone trucks need to be taken to the docks. When you get there, Bill will take them where they need to be. He's one of the engines who run this line. Right on it, sir, said Stepney. And he got coupled to the train and set off. He puffed into the docks and saw an engine with the name Bill on his side. Hello, he said. You must be Bill. And you must be an engine pulling stone trucks, replied Bill. You're a funny one, aren't you? Well, I've dealt with cheeky engines in the past, and I know all the tricks in the book. Whatever you say, said Bill, and Stepney puffed back to the quarry. The next day, Stepney had to take another stone train to the docks. Today, Ben will be getting your trucks when you get to the docks, said the quarry manager. Ben was there waiting for him when he puffed in. Stepney thought it was Bill, so he didn't bother to look at his nameplate. Hey Bill, do you know where an engine named Ben is? He's supposed to be collecting the trucks from me today. You're looking at him, said Ben. I'm Bill's twin brother. Sure you are. I'm not falling for the old twin trick. I really am his twin, said Ben. Look at my nameplate. Nice try, but I'm not falling for the made you look trick either. Just fess up and tell me where Ben is. I need to go soon. I am Ben! Ben was getting frustrated. Alright, I'm getting tired of your jokes. I have to get back to the quarry. Just give these trucks to Ben when you see him, said Stepney. He left Ben very annoyed. Stepney got back to the quarry to see Bill shunting in the yard. Hey there, Bobby Locks, he teased. How is Bill here? Stepney asked Mavis. I just saw him at the docks. Bill got here as soon as you left. It must have been his twin brother, Ben. Stepney realized that Ben was telling the truth. He told Mavis about the whole ordeal. Looks like I'm going to have to apologize, he said. Good luck with that, said Mavis. Holding grudges is one of the things the twins do best. The next morning, the quarry manager told Stepney that he was to go to the docks for the day to help out with the work there. This will be a good time to say sorry to Ben, he thought. He got to the docks, and Ben was there. Hey Ben, I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. I thought you were your twin Bill. Ben wasn't having any of it. He didn't like when Engines didn't believe him when he was telling the truth, and he especially didn't like being mistaken for his twin. He said nothing and puffed off. Well, that was rude, Stepney thought. He decided to go on with his work. He did well, and the dock manager was pleased with his work. You've done great here, Stepney, he said. All the work is done here, but these trucks need to be taken back to the quarry. Since both you and Ben will be needed at the quarry tomorrow, I figured it'd be convenient if you two took the train together. Stepney was hesitant, but he wasn't going to disobey an order. Ben didn't have a choice, so he was coupled to Stepney, Stepney was coupled to the trucks, and soon they were on their way. After a while, Stepney realized that the train was becoming heavier and heavier. He didn't know what was happening, but Ben was beginning to help less again on Stepney's nerves. Stepney began to realize this. Will you please show a wheel? He asked. We're going so slow that we'd be stopped if we were going any slower. Maybe it's because you're not strong enough and you're using me as an excuse, said Ben cheekily. Stebney became fed up. That's it. We're not going to be here all night just because you won't accept my apology. And he charged on. He went faster and the momentum of the trucks made the journey easier.
At last, they made it to the quarry. Stepney was exhausted. As soon as he was uncoupled from the train, he went to the shed to rest. Later on, the quarry manager spoke to Ben. Your crew told me about your lack of help for Stepney. You should know better than to not do your share of work. I want you to apologize to Stepney at once. Ben wasn't happy with this, but he had no choice. He puffed over to where Stepney was resting. I'm sorry for being rude. I just get mad sometimes. That's all, he said. Fair enough. I know how that can be, said Stepney. They made up and had a good chat together. Eventually, it was time for Stepney and Flying Scotsman to leave. They were sent off by many whistles. I'm gonna miss this place, said Flying Scotsman. Don't worry, said Stepney. I'm sure that someday we'll be able to come back very soon.